right there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Can't you do anything I tell you? And look at your clothes. What's the meaning of this? Have you got mad? Your jacket, your shawl, your good shoes. I spent all my money on them, Heidi. My good money. You're an ungrateful child. Why can't I be left in peace? Ah, oh, uh, uh, well, how nice to see you. I do hope you're well. I've come up here and brought Heidi for you. Go away again and take the child with you. Oh, but this is little Heidi. The child of your son Tobias and his wife Adelheid. And what's that to me? But she's your grandchild. Why should I care about that? She's been with you all these years and I've never been allowed to see her. It's too late now, dear. Well, I'm sorry about that, but you must take her. I've looked after her myself for long enough now and I'm, I'm going to Frankfurt to take up a position then. She can't come with me. Ah, so that's what it is, I see. So that's it. Well, you are her nearest relative after me since both of her parents are dead and, and so you have the responsibility. Hmm. If you don't want to take care of her, well, then you can, you can decide for yourself what's to be done. Will you come out of here? Never let me see you again! Do you hear me? I'm going, I'm going. He chased me off like a dog. You're surely not leaving the poor child there by herself. He took the child in, and he said he was overjoyed, no doubt. Dieter, what's happened to the child? Just what I said, what happened? She's staying up there with him. You really left the child up there? How could you find the heart to do it? Oh, leave me alone. I haven't got time. Have you no pity? Did she cry? I told you, I'm late. Dieter, what have you done with the child? Have you left her up there? When I've got some money, then maybe I'll fetch her back. If she's still alive by then... I've got to say this. It's shameful what you've done, Dieter. You're thinking of nothing but this new job of yours. You've left the poor child to suffer like that. What happened is no fault of hers. any more trouble. I knew you wouldn't touch Peter, though he was late. No. He's scared of you, but I told him he didn't need to be afraid of you ever again. You think not? Yes. What makes you think that? You're my grandfather, that's why. I don't believe you're bad, though they all say that you are. Is that what they say? I'm not afraid. Not at all. 
I know exactly what they say. I pay no heed to lies. Don't interest me. What's happened? She really has left her up there. And Dieter has gone off to Frankfurt. She told me so herself. I wonder what will become of the poor child. Oh. I'm curious, I tell you. I'd really like to go and see. Someone ought to find out just how he's treating her. Well, why shouldn't we do that? Oh, no one would dare try. You've seen what happened to Dita. Just think it's absolutely crazy. Can you imagine what he'd do to anyone from the village? Ah, oh, but I don't come from here. Would you really go up there? Heidi! Give me that. <sighs> this is not for you. Playing with knives, silly child. Heidi! Heidi! Heidi, where are you? <laughs> Heidi! Heidi! Heidi, come down from there at once. Come. Come, come. Don't worry, I won't let you fall. <laughs> looking for now. You've spilt the milk. Oh. I've been calling for ages, but you, you only care about me when you feel like caring. It's freezing in Come here. Come with me. <laughs> While you go traipsing around listening to everyone, only you presume that everybody who passes really believes such gossip. So you heard what Barbel was saying? Naturally, I'd be deaf not to hear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Imagine chasing a child with a nice little rubbish. <laughs> you can't possibly believe that nonsense Barbel was telling you. Why shouldn't I? Come, she saw him with her own eyes now, didn't she? You know Barbel. She's always dramatizing like all young people of today. Oh, dear. He was never like that. I know better. You always talk of her here as if butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. Don't forget what that man's got on his conscience. Whatever he has on his conscience is known only to God. I know what you don't know. We played together as children. That man hasn't the heart to hurt a fly if you were to ask him to. 
There's some in Durfley that believe otherwise. Ah, what does some in Durfley mean? Why, they're only envious of someone who lives his life as suits himself and who's travelled all round the world. But of course that's right. And in Naples he killed someone, and that's murder. Self-defence. As I've told you, he stabbed someone in self-defence. But Barwell saw him with a knife this morning. Nonsense. Never. And Heidi I'd was never believed that. Nevertheless, if you are right then, and he keeps the child, she'll grow up like a wild animal. Stop you it. see, we must do something. Listen to me. You will keep out of it. Never again let me hear you talking such rubbish. Listen to the words of an old woman and believe what she says, even if she is blind. Never take this knife again, do you hear me? It's much too sharp, you understand? I only wanted to help. Oh, yes, well, we'll have to find something else for you to do, won't we? You must never climb up trees. It's dangerous. Mm, yes. Are you hungry? Mm. Well, come on. Bring your clothes with you. But I don't need them anymore. You bring them in. Put your things in the chest there. I won't need them anymore. I'd rather run around like Peter. I didn't say under there. Take them out. They go in the chest. <laughs> now then, the fire. It's a volcano. It's Vesuvius in Italy. Oh. Is this from Italy too? Hmm. Yes. Now put it to your ear. There. Do you hear the sound of the sea now? Hmm. Yes, I do. I found it on the beach once. Near Naples. Oh, that a long time ago. Hmm. Mm. That's it. Not only did he gamble away the house and farm, mm. he even mm -hmm. killed someone. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't say that, you know. There's something good in everyone. In him too. <laughs> I know him. He's not like that. Listen, everyone. It's dreadful. He's running after her with a knife. What? It's good, is it? Mm. 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 Who is it? It's Peter with the goat. Uh, you like Peter, don't you? Hello there, Peter. Hello, Heidi. Now then, go General, where were you today with my goats? Hope you weren't on the old belt barn or else. No, we've already grazed the pasture there. I'll well, put my goats back in the stable. I'll go with him. Good. Bear. That one is the swan. 
Why don't you call them Brownie and Snowy? It's even nicer. Brownie? Mm. Snowy? All right then. You think it's nicer? We'll call them Brownie Snowy. <laughs> so. <sighs> what are you waiting for? Go on your way. Quick march then, my little goat general. Goodbye, Peter. Don't you ever sleep tomorrow. You know, Grandfather, I'd love to go up to the pasture with Peter and the goats. Well, someone must do something, I tell you. Yes, but what? Grandfather, hmm? was that goat's milk that you've just been drinking? Oh, naturally. I don't get cow's milk here. I've never drunk such good milk before. Yes, yeah, true. It's not only good, it's healthy as well. At its best, it has the flavour of goat. That's going to be a plate. You know, since I've had nothing to do with the people down there, I've learned to do most things for myself. But when I need to buy something, I have to sell these to get the money. Why is it you don't like the people who live down there? Oh, they're always talking, squabbling over me. Oh, but you like me, don't you? Yes, you're different. Oh, but you're tired. Oh. I am a little. It's long past your bedtime. Now then, where can you sleep? I can sleep on the hay up there. There's plenty of room. Now, um, you sleep in my bed and I'll sleep up there. Please, Grandfather, I'd like to sleep up here. You stay in your own bed. No. That's just fine for me. Now you sleep in my bed. If you don't, then we shall quarrel. We shan't quarrel because I shall sleep up there and you... Ah, oh, well, all right, I suppose. Look, here are some covers for you. Thank you. He was threatening her with a knife. I saw him myself. Then we've got to do something about it.